Should Canadian senators be forced to eat airline food? The Conservative senator thinks it's a bit much for auditors investigating Senate expense claims to expect them to. Senator Nancy Ruth's comments came as more detailed surfaced about the audit, which is expected to be released later this spring. Senior correspondent Terry Malefsky has the story. Terry. Well, Peter, with the RCMP leveling fresh accusations of fraud at Pamela Wallen and with Mike Duffy's trial starting next week, it is a rough time for the Senate. But now some 40 auditors from the Auditor General's Department are grilling dozens of other senators about every last taxi receipt. And it hurts. No comment. No comment. I have absolutely no comment on anything that's going on at the moment with the Auditor General or in the court. Senators were doing lots of no commenting today about the auditors. But expense claims for taxis, meals, coffee, everything's under the microscope. Most of the questions are not very sophisticated. Conservative Nancy Ruth complained that the auditors even thought she should eat airline food instead of claiming for meals on the road. There are a couple times that my assistant put in for a breakfast when I was on a plane, and they say I should have not claimed because I should have eaten that breakfast. Well, those breakfasts are pretty awful. If you want ice-cold camembert with broken crackers, have it. It seems the horrors of airline camembert are no joke for a senator who has to travel all the way from Toronto to get to Ottawa. But the auditors, she says, just don't get it. I just don't think they understand anything of what it's like to fly around the world to get here to Ottawa. They just don't know. She's not the only senator complaining the Auditor General doesn't get what senators do. He doesn't understand my function. But they insist they mostly follow the rules. I think that in every organization, there'll be a couple of bad apples. And it shouldn't taint the whole organization that's doing an amazing job for Canadians. Still, the widening audit suggests there are more than a couple of bad apples. After all, the Senate initially approved the claims of Mike Duffy and Pam Wallen. So what else did they approve? Are we to assume that Duffy and Wallen were, were outliers, or is that the pattern of the larger Senate? And that's the question that seems to be being raised by these numbers. The Auditor General is due to present his report this spring, and sources predict more bad news. On the other hand, we double-check this, Peter, and Senator Nancy Ruth is correct. Camembert should definitely be served at room temperature. Terry Malefsky in Ottawa tonight. Thanks, Terry.